Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I want to show you how to record your sales tax payment using the special module within QuickBooks. You can, you absolutely can go over, make an expense, log your sales tax, if appropriate, log your B&O tax. However, if you've had QuickBooks calculating your tax, doing this, it won't connect up with the module. And so that's why I'm making the video. You will know if this applies to you if you go to taxes and then sales tax and QuickBooks tells you that you owe some money to various agencies for sales tax. I want to use the example of last year. So I'm going to change this report period from this year to last year. And then it says Washington State Department of Revenue. I owe $47. I'll click on view tax return to the right. This is going to give me a summary. If I wanted to know more about this, I can click on view tax liability report. It's going to bring up this report. If I'm curious about any of these things, I can click on them and keep clicking until I eventually get to the invoices and the sales receipts that put put this numbers together, put these numbers together. So let's go back to sales tax. We'll assume we've looked at it. We feel totally confident. We're happy, unhappy. We're confident in the numbers. So you'll click on view tax return. If you're in a state where you have to increase or decrease the amount of money that you're sending, um, the, the money you're turning in is not the same as this number here. I just want to show you how to do that. You'll click on add adjustment on the left hand side of your screen. You'll pick the reason. So for some situations, you might get a credit or a discount. Um, I worked with a client up in Alaska that if they paid their sales tax early, then they got a discount. They didn't have to turn in all the money. Um, my business is in Washington. Many of my clients are in Washington. Washington clients, we have B&O tax that we pay at the same time. So I would just add an expense for B&O, um, make believe land, I'll call it $10. Before I started screwing around, my tax due was 47. Now it's 40, excuse me, now it's 58. I am going to leave myself a memo that just says BNO, um, Washington State. And then I'll click on add. If this doesn't apply to you, no problem, no big deal. I just wanted to show you. Whatever your situation, when you get this number to be the number that you've actually turned in, then you'll just click on record payment. Clicking record payment here doesn't authorize any money to leave your bank account. This is just you telling QuickBooks you've made a payment. How much did you pay? What day did you pay it? What bank account did it come out of? Do you want to put an additional memo in here? Do you want to print a check? When you're happy, click on record payment. It's going to think for a second. It says it's been paid. You're like, hooray, back to sales tax center. So now I want to flip this to last year. And I just want you to see the amount due is $0. The status is paid. You can view the tax return. It's going to show you this information. So here's what you had. Here's your report. Here's the date of your payment. You can click on the blue hyperlink to go to your payment. It's not very interesting, but here it is. So that's exactly what you want to have happen. This is 5728. Let me copy that because I'll probably forget. I want to delete this and I want to show you what happens if you don't do it this way. And this is not like a my way, your way thing. This is like QuickBooks has some weird quirks and you got to do it the right way. Okay. So I deleted the payment. If I go back to last year, it shows I owe $57. So I want to show you why you have to do that and not this with the expense. Um, right now I picked my drop down as sales tax because I forgot that I had set up Washington. I didn't set up. I forgot the QuickBooks set up Washington State Department of Revenue Payable. If I try to select that, I definitely can. But if I try to save it, I can't. It says you have selected a tax liability account. You can't post directly to it. That's kind of a blessing because you used to be able to. And that would really goof things up. So I really want you to, um, if you're using the uh, tax collection feature within your QuickBooks invoices, I need you to come here to record your tax payments. If you need to record a tax payment with an adjustment, I need you to do that. 
Um, you're always going to be able to view your tax return here. You're able to make your adjustment over here as needed. If you made an adjustment, you don't like it, click on your adjustment, click on delete in the lower right hand corner and just fix it, make it how it needs to be. I hope this video has been helpful. If my team or I can do anything to help you, please let us know. If you're struggling with sales tax, um, a couple of recommendations for you. Um, Avalara is a really good, really good resource um, for information about tax. And then there's also um, Tax Jar is another good resource about tax. There are a handful of bookkeepers and businesses that specialize in helping small businesses figure out sales tax compliance. It's a totally different animal from figuring out your federal taxes. It's a different animal from figuring out just bookkeeping in general. I hope this has been helpful. Really and truly, I don't specialize in sales tax. So I'll, I'll tell you what I know. And if I don't know something, I'll just tell you who I refer people to depending on what your situation is. Thank you so much and have a great day.